What's up Trekkies and Trekkers, it's Cornish Ratbeard here bringing you some more Star Trek New Horizons content. So I thought I'd make us a little video showing off all the heroic characters that can be selected for the Federation. It's just something I think might be interesting if we all knew who we could get. Uh, I think it would just make it a little bit easier for picking your faction. So the heroic characters that we are going to look at may spawn as an admiral or just a scientist, but some characters have the ability to be either and you get to choose the route they go down. Now there are loads and loads of really cool famous names that you can hire for your federation, but not all of them are heroic. In this video, I'm going to show you the heroic ones. Each character that I'm going to show you will be in order of appearance from the beginning of the game. And I do want to add though that each character has a certain chance of spawning. So some of these you may or may not see in your playthrough. So the way that it works is really all about having the specific pot. So for example, if you was hoping to get Quark, you would need to have lots of Ferengi pops on your planets to increase your chances of having him spawn. The same kind of goes for Spock, but having Vulcan pops for the Federation isn't really much of a problem. So on to the first heroic character and we have Jonathan Archer and he is a heroic scientist and is actually available to pick right from the start so remember to grab him straight away, put him in a science ship and get him working. You could get his experience level up quite nicely this way. Next up is T'Pol. She is also a heroic scientist and she spawns in at around 2165. Then we have Malcolm Reed, he's our first heroic admiral which will have the chance at spawning in at around 2175. Get him into your fleets early to gain experience. After that it's Robert April who spawns in at around 2216, he is a heroic scientist. Philippa Giorgio is next in our list, she spawns in at around 2224 and is your first heroic character that will leave you the choice on whether you want an admiral or a scientist. Next up is Captain Pike, who is also an admiral or scientist. The choice is yours. 2240 is the year to look out for him. 2249 will see us gain the famous Montgomery Scott, who is a scientist with the heroic engineer trait. Next is our favorite Vulcan Spock, who will have the chance to spawn in at around 2250. He's a heroic scientist. Following him, just five years later, will be arguably the most famous of all Starfleet captains, James T. Kirk, who once again you can choose to be either an admiral or a scientist, but it's got to be an admiral, right? Sylvia Tilly spawns in at around 2257 as an admiral with heroic engineer's trait. The year 2265 marks the spawn of Sulu, who is an heroic admiral. Next is John Harriman and he has the choice of either Admiral or Scientist. You should see him at around 2270. If you're doing well with the Vulcan Pops, then you might just see Voyager's very own Tuvok. He's an Admiral with the Security Hero trait. Look out for him in the year 2293. Rachel Garrett makes an appearance in 2315, and she gives you the choice of either Admiral or Scientist. Next up is one of my favorite captains, that's John Luke Picard. He's either an admiral or scientist, and you will see him at around the year 2327. Benjamin Sisko could spawn in at any time around 2350, and he is a heroic admiral. Miles O'Brien spawns in around the year 2351, and he's an admiral with the heroic engineer's trait. How about getting Riker involved with the fleet? He's a heroic admiral, and you could have him at around the year 2357. Geordi LaForge is another heroic admiral with the engineer's trait. He is available from the year 2360. And Kieran Norris is our first heroic general. She also has the security hero trait. She's available from around 2361. And our last one on the list is Worf. He's an admiral with the security hero trait. He's a late spawner around 2370. Right, so there are some other ways to acquire heroes, and they are as follows. Phlox, he is a scientist with a doctor's trait and he will join your cause once the Federation has been established. Shran will also commit to your cause after the forming of the Federation, and he is an admiral. How about the famous Michael Burnham? She will be available as part of the Discovery event that fires, and she will be an admiral. 
another one of my favourites here guys and that is Captain Catherine Janeway and she will be available as an admiral after the caretaker event. Be sure to snap her up. If you're interested in getting all of the Daxes then make sure to research the Trill Tech and that will give you your first Dax which is Layla and she's a governor. After she dies you will immediately be given the next Dax in line and this will continue to be the case until you have gone through the whole Dax line. But please note that each Dax will have different roles. Some are governors, some are scientists, some are admirals. Anyway guys, that's the end of our hero characters list for the Federation. But if you would like to see other hero lists from other civs, then please hit me up in the comment section. I hope you have enjoyed this and it has given you more insight to when you start your next adventure. If you did enjoy the video then please give it a big thumbs up guys, it's really really helpful. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see then smash that subscribe button in the face for me. So uh, that's it from me guys, take care and bye bye for now.